It's in my garden, this tree, and it's a twisted hazel tree, sometimes um, referred to as Harry Lauder's walking stick tree. Um, there again, I'll put the Latin name up in text. But um, this is a beautiful tree. This is about 40 years old now, and you can see it's, it's not very big. And, and if you want to trim it, you can trim it as much as you like. You'll, you won't hurt it. I tend to leave mine because it has lovely growth on it that hangs down, and the leaves are kind of, you know, ruckled up as well. And it holds its leaves really late on into the season. As you can see, they're very green at the moment. It'll probably still have some leaves on in December. Um, although and, and it's in quite an open spot here. Um, but I just wanted to show it because it's got a wonderful, um, it's got wonderful sort of bark. Um, you know, they've got holes in it. It's got a wonderful, you can see it does revert back. I have, I've got to cut that bit out. That's a bit of hazel that is reverted back coming up from the root. So you do have to watch it like that. But it's got a wonderful gnarled, um trunk now with some wonderful almost like sculptured branches um the birds love it and that's why there is some my bird feeders hanging up in here um and um, those are like those are black nigella seeds in there and there's peanuts and, and sunflower hearts um but what i wanted to say was if we come down onto the floor this year it is absolutely um, I have to keep, I picked them up once today. It's absolutely laden with um, hazelnuts, which are dropping off now. And um, they are really good to eat. And um, I mean, if we just walk a little bit further, I could, I could, oh, there's one I've just trod on, I stamped on one. Um, and you can see, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very easily, there's another two there. Um, you know, <laughs> It is absolutely laden, you know. Um, uh, I had a very kind comment um, from one of um, our subscribers to the channel saying about, you know, um, what a good nut year it had been where he lives. And um, certainly here this year, I've noticed, although it's been dry, like the um, video I did read, the horse chestnut tree, which was laden with conkers, the hedgerows are crammed full still of blackberries, and um the nut the, the and the slow there's loads of slows on the blackthorn on the hedges as well i noticed and rose hips and i'm um, say nuts i've got so many i don't think this tree look, there's a there's a try one there. there's, a, there's, there's three together there three that have just fell in the husks um i don't think i've ever known so many nuts on this tree amazing you know i've um i've, I've picked up a huge great a pot full this morning because I, I do try and pick them up because um my friendly squirrel <laughs> will be back here if i don't sort of um try and keep picking them up but i do eat a few of them and they are absolutely lovely to eat so there we go that's the twisted hazel and uh, what a crop of nuts this year you can see i've got a pesky can you see that mound of soil um that's a field vole that comes from the meadows um, they come rootling about the soils better in this garden and um, a bit softer so they nip through and tunnel through from the field um, and uh, they kind of make a little bit of a mound a lot of people think they're moles well they're not they're, these are field voles um, they're lovely little things a little bit like a um, a dormouse in looks but um, very small and very cute and very sandy um, in colour um, so I shall have to clean that up <laughs> so I've just got a stone and broke one and that's that's the inside that's the hazelnut um, you can see they're lovely uh, full it's you know filled the um, shell up lovely and it's a lovely nut and um, and that is absolutely fine to eat that and they really are lovely as always, thanks so much for watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and um, I will see you in a future video. Until then, my best wishes and good gardening, and bye for now.